Hello, this is Jean with Lux 2.0. I am going to do a video today on conditioning. Not all conditioners are created equal, but that's okay because I like different conditioners for different projects. I did a quick video regarding cleaning Vachetta yesterday and I'm working on this artsy handle. It's a little dark in the middle where the hand goes and your oils or on your shoulder. It just collects there. So I've done uh, one conditioning treatment one cleansing treatment. So now my next step is to condition this because it's super dry and I don't want to keep going in that state. So once I condition, I'm going to let it soak in maybe for 24 hours. Then I'm going to clean it again and repeat the process until I'm happy with the appearance of the Vachetta. So on to conditioners. Which one do you get? Well, I use different ones. So one of the ones I like and is you'll see a lot on the forums is Cadillac. It's relatively inexpensive uh, in the $8 range, I believe. It is uh, very thin, and I like that for maybe projects that aren't super thirsty. And I also like, this is my choice when I put something on canvas, I like this. Mainly because it's thin and it's not very expensive and it doesn't leave any kind of shiny finish or anything that indicates that you did something to the canvas. So I use this one a lot. And what I'm gonna do here is I took an old piece of vachetta that came off of a broken bag, a broken Louis Vuitton bag, and I'm gonna put a little conditioner in each of these areas and I will photograph them and put them on my Facebook so you can see side by sides. So this is untreated, it's been sitting around for a while, off of a vintage bag and I'm going to put a little bit in each of these boxes, let it sit for 24 hours and come back and see what it looks like. So first I'll do the Cadillac. Let's put a little bit on, use my finger, massage it in. That might, that was a little bit much, but that's okay. So next up, uh, you'll see this one recommended a lot, the Apple Leather Care. It's okay. Um, now that I have experimented with others, um, you know, it's okay. I like the others better. Nothing wrong with it, just prefer the others. Uh, next up, this one's a little more pricey. And I think with most things, if you pay more money, you get a better product. Uh, I reserved this for my better projects, like this artsy handle here. I'm not screwing around with that. I'm not going to put something cheap on a, a very expensive purse. So, Callie, I'm going to rub you in there. Uh, another one that I really like, and again, this is dependent on the project that you're working on. If my project is very, very dry, I love Black Rock. Now, this is really thick. So, you got to go easy with it, or else you're going to just have a pile there. So I just take it very lightly and rub it on there. Now you see the other ones are super liquidy and they're just soaking right in. Now, yeah, they look dark now. It'll lighten up. So don't ever worry about that. People worry about their vachetta getting super dark. Well, it's not going to stay that way. Just like when you put moisturizer on your skin, it might glisten for a little bit and eventually it soaks in, but you know, you got to give it some time. Then this other product I really like, but then again, it's only for certain projects that I would use it, is Saddle Butter. It conditions and waterproofs. What does that mean? Well, if I had a brand new purse with Fichetta that's super light and I live in Oregon, which I do, uh, it rains all the time. Okay, well, nine months out of the year, I'm gonna need to protect that or else I may as well not even have the purse because I won't be able to use it for fear of watermarks. So this is very hard. You can see that it's a butter. So if you take a little bit and warm it up on your finger, I like to get it into a very thin layer there, and then I'm gonna rub it on. You need very, very little. And I have used this on my personal bags and I can tell you it does not darken the Vachetta. And it creates a nice 
water resistant barrier. I don't, I don't like saying waterproof. Not, yeah, you can't guarantee that. So now you'll see we have the Cali over here, Black Rock, Saddle Butter, Cadillac, Apple. All good products. I like some better than others just for different projects. So if your Vachetta is really dry, I would probably gravitate towards the Cali or the Black Rock. Um, if it's light and new and you just want to protect it, or you just like the product and want to use it on your Vachetta, this one's a solid choice, the Saddle Butter. Um, I condition a lot of bags and sometimes they're just a little dry, nothing too crazy. So I, I use a lot of the Cadillac and because I use so much, um, I like to go with this option because it is less expensive. And the Apple was like my first timer thing. Like I, when I just started restoring bags, I saw it recommended a lot. So I bought it, it's fine. But with the other options out there, I don't see the need to, to try it again. So these are my recommendations. You'll see on my website that I have provided links. Um, I'm an Amazon affiliate and you don't pay any more for it. And there's a link to buy any of the recommended products in this video. I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, you can find me on my Facebook restoration page or message me. Thanks for watching.